and my mama crying, and my sister crying, and I was crying. Uh, I don't know why my just... little eyes watering up. I ain't even my time with a mom. Damn, I ain't got no excuses. I think my eyes watering up because it's rough. And it's like, I'm just thinking about the young ladies who's in this situation right now. Yeah. And it's just like, man, this is some life or death type of situation. Yeah, I was just sitting here thinking, and Nick know, like, I'm so protective when it comes to my family. I wouldn't even know what I'd do if one of my kids called me with some crazy mess like that. What's, What's up, y'all? Yeah, my name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our junior reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel, become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, um, and we are having movie night this Saturday. We all voted to watch Jurassic World Dominion. So if you wanna join in, hit that join button so you can have a good time with us. Babe, who are we reacting to today? All right, y'all, so we're reacting to Taco. This is part two, story time, my toxic relationship. Yeah, that part one was pretty wild, and a lot of people was like, hey, yeah, can y'all bring part two back? So yeah. we're going to see how this story played out. Before we get into reaction, do us a favor, hit the like button because it helps us grow. Let's go. All right. I saw boom. My ex went in, blocked the fuck out of Destiny. Said, man, nah, nah, fuck that. You don't, you don't need no contact with no hoe. No bitch, no ex, no friend, no no goddamn side piece, no no middle piece, middle part, side part, bitch, closure. You don't need none of that shit. Blocked the fuck out of Destiny. I ain't hear from Destiny ass no more. Except on Snapchat. I still have my Snapchat. Y'all remember on Snapchat how you used to be able to like switch people names? I did that. So Destiny name on Snapchat was like Destiny, but I changed it to her middle name. Anyway. Let me tell y'all how I found out that bitch was still in contact with her ex. I'm going to tell you now, like when you in a relationship and you have to start doing shit like that where you can't breathe. Like you got to, people, maybe old friends you used to talk to yeah. or whatever, you got to change their name up in your phone. That right there is already a red flag in itself. Well, she already had the red flag. Yeah, when she. <laughs> but this, when you are not comfortable in your relationship yeah where you can't be yourself you should not be in that relationship yeah like anytime somebody's taking your phone and doing whatever the hell they want to do and they're treating you like a child and you're a fucking adult that's not it yeah like i've been there done that it's not fun and it don't end well i've never been in a situation like that i've even know how i would react y'all just me being it, it's me. just i wish a motherfucker would take my phone and be like nope you don't need to talk to well, this yeah, person no. no block i'm finna block this person i've never had it like that where they you know like took my shit and took over it's just i've been in a relationship where i was not able to like relax and be myself like talk to people like i was in a relationship with a girl where if i look up real quick just to glance like say the, the we had a restaurant and the door open and i glance up real quick just to see who walk in i'm hearing shit. yeah i ain't never been in a relationship like it's that bad either. i don't even think i could survive in a relationship like that like I think I would be like, you know what? This ain't working for me. Because, yeah. you know, I'm too much of a free spirit. Yeah. I actually told Nick the other day, we was talking about something, and I told her, like, my ex-husband, I used to dance with other people when we used to go out, like, with guys. I remember this one time I threw this party for this guy, literally gave him not like a nasty lap dance but i still dance with him like on his birthday it was almost like a teasing thing but i was young then like really immature i wouldn't do that now but that's how free i was like i don't need anybody trying to police me yeah you gotta or be i would have been like i you, can't do this you gotta be a certain type of breed to uh land you a sad especially a young sad yeah a young wild one you yeah. gotta be a certain type of person <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, is your ex block? She said, I don't talk to my ex. Let me, let me fucking tell y'all, this bitch ex was married into her fucking family. So 
Either way you go, even if she blocked this bitch, if they fuck around and have a family reunion, she's going to see her fucking ex. And her mama, what? listen, her mama was so fucking messy. Her mama was one of them bitches that a smile in your face, but but act like the ex wasn't just at her house. That's how her fucking mama oh, was. And yeah. I remember it was one day I had came, me, me and my bitch was at the skating rink. And I remember her little sister called her or text her or something and was like, hey, mama, want you come home? So like like I said, I was always with this bitch. So me and her leave the skating rink. We go back to her mama's her mama house. So we get her mama house. Me and her just in her room chilling, talking, woo woo bada doop. Her little sister coming in the bedroom. She said, Taylor here. I looked at my ex. I'm like, who the fuck? Like at this point I didn't know who the fuck Taylor. I didn't know that was her ex. She said, Taylor here. I was just looking. I'm like, who the fuck is like, who the fuck is Taylor? So then, like, my ex, like, her face dropped. Like, she was just staring at her little sister. And she's like, Taylor, Taylor. She said, Yeah, Taylor, Taylor. Like, Taylor's here. I said, And I'm staring at my ex. I'm like, Bitch, I don't know who this Taylor, this Taylor person is. But like, are you gonna go get up and say, Hey, like, why, why are you just laying here? So my ex, she got off the bed. She stormed out the room. She like closed the door behind her a little bit, like slightly. I'm like, whatever. Like, you know, Taco not thinking nothing of it. Cause like who the fuck who the fuck just invites someone's ex to their fucking house like that? Like who's that cool with they fucking whose parents are that cool with they ex significant other? You get what I'm saying? At this time Taco did not know that her ex was married into the family and that's why the bitch was always around, little ugly fucking bitch. So ex <laughs> <laughs> she went out the room, she stormed out the room, she closed over behind her a little bit. Taco just in the room on her phone. Taco ain't thinking nothing of it. So then my ex finally come back in the room. She said, bruh. I said, what? She said, that was my fucking ex. And you know, Taco, Taco not no goddamn, I ain't no low, low self-esteem having ass bitch. If I feel like if a motherfucker gonna cheat on me, bitch, okay, let me exactly. know. Exactly. Like, because I, like I can't help but to wonder, like, why does she even feel like she had to tell her? Like, I mean, we already know Taylor's here. Why does she feel like she had to come back and say, that was, bro, that was my ex? Did she want to get see how she would react? Taco will react. Maybe she did. I wonder how far into their relationship is this. Because normally when you start dating somebody, you kind of talk about your ex. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I'm wondering, like, are they fresh? Or have they been talking and they just skipped over that part? Because also I'm thinking, if it was the other way around, this crazy ass ex of hers, mm -hmm. she would have not liked Taco X coming to exactly. her house. Exactly. She would have been like, why the fuck is this bitch coming to your house? Exactly. And probably would have tried to tell her to tell her mama what to do about the damn ex. All that secretive shit, bitch. If you if you feel like you're gonna step out on me, let me know that. Cause bitch, I will make arrangements. I'll be like, okay, bye poo. Like right. you don't have to keep shit a secret with Taco. Taco don't give a fuck. Taco not gonna cry over no bitch. You get what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day, it's too many y'all hoes out here. It's too many bitches wanting to give out free pussy. And right now, the the route taco on, it's too many bitches flocking anyway. So Taco ain't gonna never go to war with no bitch. You get what I'm saying? All, all these hoes come and go. You get what I'm saying? Like, I be telling people, y'all gotta understand, we young as shit. Ain't nobody trying to get married right now. We're 22. Who the fuck trying to get married right now? Unless you really know that you with the one, congrats for y'all. But right now, where Taco is at, Taco ain't trying to marry no bitch. I, I be dating bitches and I be looking at them hoes like, you know what? To be honest, I don't even see you here in the next <laughs> five months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> five floppy months. In, yeah, I'm not gonna hold no hold down, bitch. If you want to go be a hoe, bye, pool, leave me out of it, period. So Taco, like, when she came back, she was like, "Bro, that was my ex." Okay, I said okay, because <laughs> I'm not thinking nothing of you. You get what I'm saying? I'm not thinking that this bitch is a fucking liar and a fucking sociopath. And this whole time she was entertaining her ex, like, bitch, you trying to storm out the room and make it seem like you mad at your ex there? When bitch, in reality, you probably was the one that invited her over, not your little fat ass, dirty ass, bad body built ass, dump truck damn. shaked ass mama, bitch. You probably invited oh, this whole damn. over, bitch. And that's probably the reason why we left the skating rink and came the fuck back home. You probably thought you was gonna get rid of Taco, or you probably thought Taco was gonna leave before your ex showed the fuck up. See, bitch, you got your dumb ugly ass caught up. Taco ain't had nothing to do with that. Period. So anyway, <laughs> she said, "Bro, that was my ex." I said, "Okay." <laughs> like what you want a reaction out of me i don't give a fuck i'll yeah. beat that bitch the fuck up period so she said man my, my mama invited her my mama invited her 
I said, why would your mama invite your ex over if she know that your new bitch is here? Like, like her mama knew she was gay. And she said, she said, well, she's kind of related to us. Como estas? I said, what the fuck type of Jeffrey Dahmer shit is? I said, related? I said, what? <laughs> bitch, what are you, incested? Why? Wow, bitch, bitch, what? So I'm looking like she kind of related to y'all. Like, bitch, I'm thinking some real weird, nasty shit going on. I said, what? <laughs> she said, yeah, she's kind of related to us. I said, you, your ex is, is blood related? She said, no, 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 hell no. Nah. She said she related by marriage. She was like, her auntie married somebody in my family. So now we cousins, we cousins by marriage. I said, so your ex, bitch, I don't give a fuck if we was cousins by Santa Claus. I'm not dating nobody in my fucking family. Like, I don't give a fuck. If, I, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's how Taco think. I don't give a fuck how the rest of y'all think. Taco not dating no motherfucker in her family. I don't care if we related by blood. I don't care if we related by marriage. I don't give a fuck if we only related by a fucking inch of hair. Hey, it's crazy because uh, me and Carla, we just watched. <laughs> um, we had Kevin Gates interview with, uh, what's her name? Creesha? Creesha, please. Creesha, please. <laughs> Yeah, and she, Creesha asked Kevin Gates, she was like, did you really, like, sleep with your cousin? He was like, well, just picture this, you know, I dick her down real good, stick my tongue in her ass, punch my uh thing in her kidney so good. He was doing the fucking most of y'all saw that interview, like, Aquarius, calm down. Yeah. But anyways, um, so he said that he, uh, you know, he actually said I started liking her, went to grandma to take her to meet grandma, and grandma was like, hey, that's your cousin. He said that they already been fucking, and he, didn't he say he was going to still fuck? He was like, why are we going to stop? We didn't already went there. He was like, like, we have already been getting busy. So he was like, it ain't going to change nothing. So comment below. <laughs> if, <laughs> if you had a real good moment, like I'm talking about months, you know, you having good sex, you falling in love, and you go find out maybe that's your second, third cousin. Are you still going to continue the relationship, or are you going to fall back? Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> Be honest, too. I look like, ew, poo. No, I see you too much. My family messy as fuck. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm looking at her. Like, the main thing in my head is not the fact that your ex was just over here. The main thing in my head is you date. You you dated your cousin. Like, <laughs> like I know y'all probably like, they not related by blood. But I don't give a fuck. That's just weird to me. So I said, what the fuck? I said, well, why was she over here? She said, my mama invited her. I said, why would your mama do that if your mama know I'm over here? She said, I, she said, well, her and my mama had a real close relationship. And I think she just, I think, you know, she just came over here because she was just in the area. Her ex was in the military as well. I said, oh, let me find out all y'all military bitches is some hoes. Because, like, what the hell going on in the military that got all these damn dykes and fems losing their goddamn rabbit ass mind? So, anyway, her ex was in the military. She's, like, basically trying to explain, like, her ex just got back from basic training or she was on lead duty call, call of duty, black ops. Bitch, I don't know. I don't know military terms. So her ex was on something and that's why she was in the area and that's why her mama invited her over. So, you know, at this point, I'm just weirded the fuck out. I'm more weirded out than I am mad. I say, yeah, okay, well, I'm gonna go back to my side. So taco dip. I left. She's like, are you mad at me? I said, no, I don't give a fuck. And I was like, to be honest, if you're going to make me cut off my, my ex and, and there's nothing going on between me and her, I don't even see her on a daily basis. Like, you probably see your fucking ex since you two are goddamn cousins. I said, since you made me cut my ex off, I'm going to need you to do the same thing with that bitch. She got quiet. <laughs> you, hello? Come on, Stas. Oh, bitch, now you can't hear. I said, yes, since you made me cut off my fucking ex that I have no plans of ever getting back with, you need to cut that bitch off too. I'm not playing. Cut that hoe off or I'm going to cut her off my fucking self. <laughs> so she said, all right, bro, whatever. I got you. Y'all, this hoe never cut contact with this bitch. Let me tell y'all, me and my ex started dating when I had just turned 19. Like, I remember it. Like, I told y'all, I came back from San Antonio in December. My birthday was in November. I had just turned 19. I started working at Goodwill when I was 19. I met that hoe when I was 19. When I tell y'all this hoe had contact with her ex from the from the time that we met, which was when I was 19, up until our last fucking day together ever. And that was probably like my fucking 21st birthday. Like me and this bitch was lying the whole time and cheating on me the whole fucking time with her ex. And I'm gonna tell y'all how I found out. <laughs> Basically. She made it seem like she cut contact with her ex, but I fucking knew she didn't because the hoe was a fucking lying ass sociopath. So let me tell you. 
once I told her to stop fucking with her ex, somebody always used to call her and text her and their name was saved under Hitman. I'm like, okay. Look, this how you know Taco is um, not that type of person. Where it was like, she was just basically doing that shit because she had told her to stop talking to her ex. Because Taco didn't take her phone. Taco didn't try to go through and block her. She just basically just told her and expected her to do what the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can go through my phone and do that shit, then bitch, you need to cut your, you know, but she didn't really care for real. She was just saying it. Which also shows, like, nine times out of ten, when you have someone who's taking your shit, they going through your stuff, they been controlling, it's because they're doing some fuck up shit themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Because, like, just think, why would you feel the need to do that? Have you ever did anything like that? No. I've never done that either. But I also don't be doing, like, fucked up shit either. Yeah. So, that's a, well, red flag in my book, too. <laughs> <laughs> Taco is not stupid. Taco's fucking intuition is a bitch. My intuition is my best friend. Y'all think these motherfuckers in my head I be talking to be having me fucked up? No, my intuition be knocking on the back of my fucking head and whispering in my <laughs> ear, like, hey. Hey, bitch, bitch, you, bitch, now, now you know, bitch, bitch, you know that shit ain't right. And I'll be talking back to that bitch. I talk to, y'all, Taco, <laughs> I don't give a fuck if y'all think I'm crazy. Taco talked to her ancestors, I talked to my intuition, and I talked to the fucking voices in my head. Because I know I don't be fucking tripping. <laughs> Let me tell y'all. It's like when Taco knows something, Taco is always fucking right. You get what I'm saying? So, my intuition is telling me, bitch, don't be a dumb gullible bitch. Hitman is her fucking ex. She yep. saved her ex name under Hitman because you would never think of like who the fuck that is. But like I said, Taco was not a dumb bitch. Taco already knew from the jump. So I'm like, man, fuck it. Like, bitch, you done came this long. You done came this this long ass way with the bitch. The bitch done took your virginity. You and the bitch talking about moving in together. This bitch has a car. Keep using this bitch. Keep riding with this bitch. This bitch love you. You love you love this bitch. And so I thought. <laughs> so. I said, whatever. I said, this bitch want to be in contact with her ex. I don't give a fuck. Taco's still going to do her fucking thing. So let me tell you. Taco That's had how you would. Like. <laughs> Taco had the bitches. Taco still has the bitches. Taco got the pigeons, the birds, bitch. Period. Cool, cool. Taco got all of them. <laughs> so I'm like, man, fuck. She wanted to still talk to her little ugly ass ex. I don't give a fuck. Because, bitch, one thing about it, two things for sure. Taco already know when Taco look better than the bitch. Taco already know when she's shitting on the bitch. Period. So I remember I seen her ex. I said, oh, fuck no. <laughs> if this is what you want to cheat on me with, I don't give a fuck. Like, not even on no cocky shit. But it's just kind of like, you know, you already losing because the bitch is not attractive. You already losing because you used to always tell me how your ex was dogging you anyway. And she used to always cheat on you and leave you and go run back to her other ex. So, bitch, either way it go, if you think this bitch finna change for you, she's not. So, whatever. Me and this bitch, we still going hard. We still going hard. She done introduced me to her best friend. Her best friend, her best friend name is fucking Kim. Y'all, her and Kim, anyway. So, let me skip ahead so I can, like, explain to y'all what really caused me and my ex to, like, just be like, fuck this shit. We out. So, me, Kim, and my ex, we all, you know, we grouped up. We coming up with ideas. We like, look, we want to get the fuck out of our parents' house. So what we finna do? Boom, apartments. It was in fucking Riverdale. So we live near the airport. So now at this time, I'm not at Walmart no more. I'm not at DTL no more. Now I work at the airport. My ex work at the airport as well. So it's me and my ex working at the airport. Kim worked at Home Depot. And then I remember Kim got my ex on at Home Depot as well. So my ex worked at Home Depot part-time she worked at the airport full-time taco work at the airport full-time kim work at home depot full-time so we all in this fucking we in a what was it a two-bedroom apartment in riverdale near the airport so you know shit cool at first we like man this shit lit like we young as shit we got our own fucking apartment we bitch drinking smoking bitches coming in and out niggas coming in and out like we like <laughs> lit you can't tell us nothing so this one, the Hitman bitch started going real hard. Like, Hitman calling damn near every fucking day. And I remember, like, before we even got our apartment, I remember I used to always ask my ex, who the fuck is Hitman? And this bitch, will all, every time I ask this bitch, Taco has great memory, like I said. Every time I would ask this bitch, it would be a whole different story. So I remember the first time I asked this bitch, before me and her even moved in together, I asked her, I said, who is Hitman? She said, oh, it's one of my battle buddies from, you know, from... 
from basic um he's he's one of my battle buddies talk i don't know what the fuck that is bitch i don't give a fuck if it's gi joe i want to know his name i think she said the nickname was like fucking camera or something i said okay bitch a couple more damn months passed taco has great memory like i said so i asked again who the fuck is hitman because hitman is always hitting her up out the blue i said who's hitman in the back of my head i already know she says her battle buddy that she went to basic training with his name is cam cameron something like that who's hitman oh uh it's 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 one of my battle buddies you remember i told you it was my battle buddy i said oh yeah what was what was the name uh, um uh isis bitch so we don't went from cameron to isis huh? bitch who the fuck i said oh okay i'm talking about I'm, bitch i'm not stupid <laughs> so i'm like man whatever they're holding a play taco is gonna play play like like i told y'all so anyway back to the damn apartment so we in a park hold on babe what what was your saying when people when you say people used to play <laughs> I used to be like, if you want to play, I got more games than the motherfucking PlayStation. Y'all yeah, something else, boy. That, back in my days, they used to be my phrase. Like, they want to play. They just don't know I got more games than the motherfucking PlayStation. Fucking living our lives, at least we thought we was. Like, apartment going brazy. So, this is when I found out my ex was like, a hoe like this bitch was like fucking with niggas and bitches I said, oh, oh man yo. it was always something in my soul that told me that this bitch probably like niggas but i would just oh. always ignore it because like she used to pop shit like she really hated niggas but you know them be the main oh. ones that be sneak dicking on the low any fucking way Nikki. so Nikki, i, I shut don't up. have a problem with bisexual women i don't give a fuck talk with date a bisexual woman who cares if that bitch wants some dick and some pussy let her get that i don't give a fuck what you are as long as at the end of the day you like bitches in some type of way we can party like <laughs> fuck is you talking about like people be going so hard on bisexuals for what if they like both they like both i don't give a fuck i don't care my only thing with that is if you're gonna be bisexual tell me that don't come to me popping shit like you straight out lesbian and then i find out on the low you fucking niggas yeah. no bitch it don't work like that now i gotta beat you the fuck up for putting me in fucking danger like this because bitch niggas don't like using condoms and atlanta too fucking dirty for that shit anyway if you like bitches mm -hmm. and niggas let taco know because taco i'll i'll be like okay either way you go you like bitches right <laughs> oh okay so anyway i used to always ask my ex because like we would be around niggas and she would just i don't know y'all like like y'all ever see somebody around somebody and you just be like looking at them like mm, you might be a little gay like like y'all i feel like it is more so for niggas like i done been around a couple niggas and i be looking at niggas like you might be gay because <laughs> i have a very strong gaydar so i be looking at niggas and i be like watching how niggas interact with each other and it's just always that one dude and i be like that motherfucker gay. Like, don't nobody know it but me and him. But he's gay. So, anyway. We would just be around her friends. My ex would hang out with these fucking cowboys. Like, literally cowboys. Like, they was, like, a bunch of black dudes. But they used to ride horses, like, and hang out this at this ranch, a barn, wherever the fuck. They were old horses, like, on some real, like, cool-ass shit. Like, I thought that shit was cool. So, I remember we was... We used to always go to the barn, the ranch, whatever the fuck, bitch. Old Town Road. I don't know. We used to always be there. And it was just a bunch of dudes. Like, they used to run around with their shirts off. And, you know, like, taco-looking niggas. If I think a nigga attractive, I think he attractive. That don't mean I want to fuck him. So, anyway, taco used to look at him. I used to be like, oh, he cute. Oh, he cute. Oh, girl, look at him. He cute. Oh, girl, that's how I'm trying to get my body. He cute. My ex would be there, mouth wide open, drooling. I used to just look at her like how you said you know these niggas like bitch how you know these mm -hmm. niggas because they probably know you more than more than you know them bitch if you catch my drift bitch you're probably taking some dick you sneak dicking ass little fake ass gay bitch so anyway <laughs> that's why taco always thought like her ex was bisexual hey, y'all i'm now hopping back to the apartment i'm sorry that i'm hopping everywhere but i hope y'all keep the fuck up if you don't keep the fuck up you better rewind catch up <laughs> so tell y'all how i found out that she like niggas so we in the apartment and like I said, my ex and her best friend, Kim, Kim worked at Home Depot. Kim got my ex on at Home Depot for part-time, but my ex was full-time at the airport. Taco full-time at the airport. Kim is full-time at Home Depot. So my ex had two jobs, the airport and Home Depot. She worked at that Home Depot with Kim. So since Kim already had been there, Kim showing her around, showing her the ropes, showing, introducing her who people is, woo woo ba do. My ex and Kim fall the fuck out. So can y'all imagine the tension, like the tension in the fucking house? You and your best friend fall the fuck out 
and and your bitch living with y'all so i'm just sitting there like damn like kim you cool as fuck but since my bitch don't like you i can't like you period that's how taco roll i don't give a fuck if i'm dating a bitch and my bitch don't like that person bitch i hate you you did what i'm saying and that go for family as well if my sister don't like you bitch i'ma kill you stop playing with me i don't give a fuck taco don't do that flip-flop shit if you don't like somebody i'm not gonna be in a face like oh yeah baby no ho fuck you so taco not even on no like messy petty shit it's just, I just stopped speaking to Kim, which is fucked up because it's kind of like we all live in the same fucking house. Yeah. We all paying bills. So, bitch, let's be grown women. Like, let's pay these fucking bills. Let's calm the fuck down. We ain't got to be in each other's face kicking shit. We can just pay these bills and be cordial at least. Them bitches ain't want to do none of that. I said, fuck it. My ex ain't talking to you. Bitch, I ain't talking to you, right? Ain't even a goddamn good morning. Fuck it. It's one day come. My ex come home from work. I think I was off. My ex come home from work. I'm, I'm in the room. Kim come in behind my ex. These hoes is barking. I said, hello. <laughs> like, these hoes going at it. Like, coming through the door going at it. She said, man, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Kim said, you need to tell your bitch the truth and stop lying to her ass. Taco come out the room. Taco said, hello. <laughs> what truth, bitch? Let me know. Like, bitch, trade the truth. Who? I said, hello. So, they going off. I come in the middle of the argument. I said, Kim, what truth? Like, bitch, at this point, I don't give a fuck what my ex is talking about. Move, stink. I'm talking to Kim straight up as a woman. I said, Kim, what truth? I said, what What she need to tell me? I said, Kim, if, if it's on your mind that much, then you fucking tell me. Kim said, nah, I'm gonna let your bitch tell you. That's your bitch. You fucking her. You sleeping with her. Y'all date. That's your bitch. I'm gonna let your bitch tell you. I looked at shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said the whole name. I looked at my ex. I said, what the fuck is she talking about? She said... She ain't talking about nothing. She talking about she 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 just lying. Like she just lying. Y'all, my ex was the biggest fucking liar, but Kim was a big ass fucking liar too. So Taco stuck in the middle of two fucking liars. Taco don't fucking know. But I'm gonna tell y'all why I started believing Kim. Kim had fucking proof. Kim had Kim. Kim came with the receipts. Let me fucking tell y'all. So shit just going down. Like these hoes just still barking. So I'm like, man, fuck it. Kim ain't wanna tell me the truth. My ex ain't wanna tell me the truth. So I said it. I said, I said, you cheating on me? Like, that's the first thing that popped in my head. I said, you cheating on me? Like, you, you still fucking with your ex, ain't you? Kim got quiet. My ex ain't say shit. I said, like, what? Fuck, is it something worse? Like, bitch, what, hello? Like, is you cheating on me? You still fucking with your ex? Like, what? Even though Taco already knew the answer to that in her fucking head, I'm waiting on my ex to say it. It still ain't say shit. Kim just started laughing. I said, well, I know what I take that ass. So... Man, them hoes still just going back and forth. My ex talking about something. If you want to believe her ass, you can believe her. I don't give a fuck. I said, I said, Kim, Kim don't even say shit. I asked you. I asked you, are you are you still fucking with your ex? Are you cheating on me? Man, that hoe talking about something. Man, no, no, no. You go through my phone. Snatch that whole phone, bitch. Don't tell me that because I'm going to go through that motherfucker like I pay a bill. Fuck what you talking about. <laughs> I took that whole phone. I'm going all in the messages. I don't see nothing about no hitman. I don't even see hitman contact saved anymore. I said, I know Taco don't got fucking amnesia. I said, where that hitman person at? She talking about something's in there, it's in there. I said, no, the fuck is not. Bitch, I know my goddamn alphabet. I done scrolled to the fucking H's. <laughs> I said, where, where's hitman's name? Like, what happened to hitman? I said, did, you must have just fucking around and, and accidentally deleted this, like, when you and Kim started arguing. Cause you That's know what, what I was thinking. Come down to. Like, on some real sneaky yep. shit. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. bitch, y'all y'all was arguing as y'all were coming through the door. Meaning, you probably already knew Kim was finna say some off-the-wall yep. shit. That's why you deleted the fucking contact, huh? So I'm scrolling all through the phone. I said, girl, stop fucking playing me. I said, who is Hitman? Before I figured the fuck out by myself. That hoe ain't say nothing. Took that phone. I went the fuck outside. I'm all in this bitch. I'm in the messages. Y'all know how you can search something in the messages. I'm typing in her, her ex name, Taylor. Ain't shit popping up. I'm typing in Hitman. Ain't shit popping up. I said, this hoe playing with me. I went to Snapchat. Y'all remember how I said on Snapchat, you used to be able to like, you can change people's Snapchat name. So if my name, on, if anybody, don't nobody have Snapchat, let me explain it. If my name on Snapchat was Taco, you could erase it and change it to wherever the fuck you want to change it to. So, like, change it from Taco to Big Headed Dyke Bitch. I don't know. Nacho. I don't know. Taquito. <laughs> anything. So, that's what I did with my ex. I changed Destiny name from Destiny to her middle name. So, my dumbass ex wouldn't know I still had contact with her. So, I went outside. I'm going through this whole phone. Bitch, I feel like the men in black going through the whole phone. I'm going brazen. I'm clicking on everything. Scrolling through everything. Fucking I got on Snapchat. 
I type I, I knew her ex name on some real creep shit. So first I typed in her ex first now. I typed in Taylor. Ain't shit pop up. I said, okay. Erase that. Typed in that whole last name. Dang, Big Snapchat pop up. I said, oh tell me why she gonna switch this bitch Snapchat name to Diana. Ah! So who the <laughs> Fuck, bitch, Diana. What for, dirty Diana? You fucking stank puss ass little hoe. That's must. That must be what the fuck it was standing for. I said, Diana, bitch, you sure ain't no goddamn princess Diana, bitch. Dirty Diana, fucking bitch. You the real dirty damn ugly ass little girl. So I went back in the house. Them hoes ain't even arguing on them. Ho them hoes and now goddamn quiet. Cause they probably like oh, this hoe finna come in here go thudding. Bitch, I came back in that house. I had my ex phone. I said, fuck. Launch that bitch across the apartment. I said, you fucking bitch. Going off. I said, you lame as fuck. I said, bitch, really? Y'all, this this is when a demon came out of Taco. Because like I said, I don't like hurting people's feelings unless they hurt my feelings. I said, bitch, really? You too fucking ugly to be playing with me the way you fucking playing with me. <laughs> Them bitches. They was like, <laughs> Call your bitch ugly. I sure fucking did. Taco don't give a fuck. <laughs> Taco said, bitch. She said, you think I'm stupid? I know this whole ugly. She said, I, I just ain't been saying nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I said, you so fucking ugly to be playing with me the way you fucking playing with me. You got me fucked up. I said, you thought I wasn't gonna find that bitch Snapchat? You dumb little lame ass bitch. I said, fuck you and that bitch. I beat both y'all hoes the fuck up going in. I said, call that bitch. Call that bitch. Tell her come over. Tell her come over. Kim like pushing on me because I'm in that whole face. Kim pushing me out of her face. I'm like, nah, bitch. You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. Like, fuck you and that bitch. If you want that bitch, you can have that hoe. Kim just pushing me back. I said, get the fuck out. I moved Kim's hands. I went in the room. I'm snatching all my shit out of the closet. Throwing shit in the goddamn in my baggie. <laughs> yes, you free. <laughs> Leave. I left. Man, let me tell y'all where this hoe. Let me tell y'all, toxic relationships will have you acting like a crackhead. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> because you gonna always come the fuck back. You get what I'm saying? So I remember I will always come back to my family, and they will be like, "You acting like a junkie for that little bitch," and, and it's gonna either get you, you either gonna get hurt, you gonna hurt that bitch, or y'all gonna end up mm -hmm. hurting each other, and y'all gonna go to fucking jail. Yeah. Or worst case, somebody gonna end up fucking dead. Cause like my yeah. family knew me and her was fighting. Like I remember it was one time that hoe pulled up on me in the middle of the night, and my next door neighbor seen us out there fighting. And I remember like the day after that, they came and told my fucking family. They was like, "Yo." She was out here like hitting, like hitting, hitting, like so. I don't know who the fuck she was fighting. It was just a red car that was out here going in. So anyway, my family knew, like, like my sisters, my boy. I got three sisters. <laughs> Taco ain't never got a fight if Taco don't want to fight. Taco got three sisters, and I got two brothers. My oldest brother, y'all think I'm throw? My oldest brother, my oldest brother be telling me. I beat a bitch up. <laughs> he be like, I don't give a fuck. These hoes wanna act like niggas, I'ma beat them up like some niggas. Period. Taco never has to fight. So if ta if you bring that side out of Taco, bitch, you must have really pissed me the fuck off. So like, like I told y'all, me and that bitch started getting so physical. Like, it was at one point, she started hitting me so much. Taco started hitting the fuck back. Bitch, you not finna just be out here hitting on me. <laughs> I'm not no bitch. I'm not no punk bitch. <laughs> like, bitch. So I remember like, after the first few times, y'all, I'm I'm taking a break from telling y'all the story of what I happened. What happened? Okay, this is just kind of random. So I'm like, does she got the camera pointed at a mirror and looking at herself through the mirror? Maybe, because I'm just thinking about what that is on the uh, thing. Oh, okay. okay. So anyway, after the first few times that she used to like hit on me, I was like, okay, bitch, you know what? You're not gonna just keep fucking hitting on me. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna be some retaliation. So I remember when we when we moved in together, that was like my first time actually like fighting her ass back. Like I lost my fucking mind. And y'all like I had been going back and forth from that apartment back to my family house a lot. So like it was <clears throat> it was times like me and her would get into it over the smallest shit. I would dip out, leave. Cause like the smallest shit would turn into the biggest shit. And that's when we would end up fighting. And Taco do not want I do not I, I'm not gonna fight if I don't have to, you get what I'm saying? Because Taco's a fucking demon. Leave me the fuck alone. Like, leave me alone, bitch. All this anger I have built up, I be telling folks, I have so much anger built up. And bitch, I always say at one point I was self-destructive. I will beat 
the shit out of bitch. I will kill somebody. Leave me the fuck alone. So anyway, I remember. That whole- and then, hold on, it just kind of made me think too, um, especially since she really like XXX. Because X, he was a small dude. But um, because he had so much rage and so much anger built up in him, like when he got to that point of fighting, like I've seen him fight and I was like, oh my goodness, mm-hmm. man. Oh, bruh. It was one time that bitch hit me. I said, chill out. <laughs> I told this bitch, I'm giving her a warning. That hoe hit me in my shit, like in my face. I said, chill out, bruh. Man, hit said, him, beat her ass, No, he, like, you got me fucked up. She like, what fuck, you, fuck is he gonna do? And bitch, now, now I feel like like you heckling me. Like now I feel right. like you like bullying me. Like you trying to be yeah, funny. Yeah. Taco used to get bullied. Bitch, now I'm having flashbacks, PTSD. Bitch, you done awakened the fucking beast. That whole hit go. me one more time. I picked that bitch up. <laughs> I said, stop. You better fucking like. I had this bitch in the air. I said, stop. Cause bitch, if I yeah, drop butter. you, you gonna feel it. Stop. I will put you on your fucking neck. Don't play with me. That whole like hitting me in my back for me to put her down. I put that bitch on the bed. I said, stop. I'm not finna fight you. Leave me the fuck alone. Taco is a dyke. I'm a boy and a girl. I will beat the shit out of you. Leave me alone. That whole got up off the bed. Hit me again. Let's bitch, go. I fucked around. Yeah. Stop. I'm not fucking with it. Like losing my mind. I'm not, not fuck. I'm not finna fucking fight you. Stop. Leave me alone. Hit that bitch in her shit. That whole said, man, whatever. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> So anyway, let me get back to the story. So Kim pushing me out the way. Kim pushing me. Like I said, I went in the room. I started packing my shit. But at the same time, I'm still talking shit. I said, you ugly as fuck. Yo, ex ugly as fuck. Hold up, babe. Why you think she stopped at the taco, gave her that one little taste in her mouth? I don't know. She probably didn't expect it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> y'all hoes really deserve each other since y'all two ugly ass hoes want to be together. Damn. Y'all, y'all call that bitch. Tell that bitch come over here. I hear this hoe talking shit. She talking about something. You don't want me to call her. You don't want me to call her. Bitch, are you threatening me? Are you are you threatening me with your ex? And bitch, I done seen your ex in person. Taco's bigger than that, bitch. Bitch, I'm 5'1". I'm bigger than your ex. Dang. I will flick her little bug looking <laughs> ass. Stop fucking playing on me. I'm, I'm listening to this whole as I'm packing my shit. I said, what? She talking about something. You don't, you don't want me to do that. You don't want me to call her. I said, call your bitch. Call your bitch, and I'm going to have my whole fucking family in this hole tearing these apartments the fuck apart. Bitch, they going to go from building one all the way the fuck back here to our fucking building. I don't give a fuck. I said, bitch, whoever in the way they fun to catch all this fucking smoke, I don't give a fuck. I said, call call whoever the fuck you want to call. Call your fat ass mama. Call your old ass stepdaddy that your mama using his ass. Your mama using his ass anyway because bitch, he damn near on his deathbed. She ain't doing shit but sucking the nigga dry for his check. Call your little dyke ass sister, dirty ass bitch, be leaving period panties everywhere. Oh, oh my yeah, goodness. Ex. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that hoe got quiet. Because, bitch, I'm not playing with you. Like, taco, I talk cash shit, but I will back it the fuck up. Period, pool. <laughs> so, pat my shit. I dip out. I go back to my family house. My family looking at me. They said, you, you, you acting like a junkie. Like, like, you acting like a junkie because you keep leaving here just to go the fuck back to what's killing you. Literally. Like a junkie. Like, y'all know what? Once somebody get that high, they're going to always chase that high. You know what I'm saying? My yeah. family was like, you need to figure the fuck out because you're not going to keep coming back here using us as a crutch. You need to figure the fuck out. Either you're going to come here, we're going to help you out, or you're going to stay over there with that bitch. The family tie. Yeah, because it's like, your family may be <laughs> fighters and all that, but after a while, you know, they get older and shit. They don't be want to do all that shit no more. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck back. I went to fuck back. I could not leave this bitch alone, y'all. And I told y'all, I couldn't leave this bitch alone because I told you, toxic people draw you the fuck in. They will do shit to keep your ass around. Because it's kind of like, you feel like, you get you get in that mindset where it's kind of like, nobody's going to go as hard for me as they going, as they are for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, even though that whole like ran my fucking life into the ground, I kind of felt like this was my true love. Like, I don't fucking know why. I can't explain why. Taco was young. She took my virginity. She was buying me all this shit, promising me all this shit. Like, Taco was just being fucking stupid for this little ugly ass bitch. And I don't, I don't understand why. And I keep saying ugly, and I'm trying not to. But right now, it's touching something in my soul. And it's, this whole situation, <laughs> just thinking about it and even talking about it, is pissing me the fuck off. So, like, now the real Taco is coming out. Like, the mean Taco. So, anyway. <laughs> so, I had got back to my family side. 
I was probably over there for like two days just for me to go the fuck back. I said, what the fuck? Like, I'm back back at the apartment. It's still tension between her and her best friend. So I'm just like, man, fuck. So, you know, one day I was I was off once again. Kim was off this time. My ex at work, me and Kim talking. Let me tell y'all how I found out this bitch like dudes. So Kim came in the room. She knocked on the door. She said, can I come? Can I, can I talk to you? I said, yeah, what's up? She came in the room. She sat on the bed. She said, I know you love this little girl, but this bitch is playing the fuck out of y'all ass. Like, and it's like, at the same time, it's kind of like, I didn't want to believe her until she started pulling out these goddamn receipts. I said, wait a minute. Because like I said, Kim was a fucking liar, just like my ex is a liar. So I, I talk don't know who the fuck to believe. So Kim had a little baby. I'm not going to say the little baby name. That's not my, I, I don't like involving people's kids and shit. Kim had a little baby. So Kim, and Kim didn't have a car. So like, my ex would always take Kim the fuck everywhere. So like, when Kim had a doctor's appointment for the little baby, my ex would take her. So Kim telling me, she was like, yeah, it was one time I was at this doctor's appointment. And, you know, as I'm in the waiting room waiting, so-and-so was in there with me, my ex. And she was like, um, Taylor from the pull-up. Taylor from the pull-up, where we at? And Kim was like, what do you mean? Like, Kim was like, so basically, like, Taylor came and seen us while, while we was at the doctor's appointment. And she said, so-and-so, my ex, she said she went outside, she started talking to Taylor, and they ended up kissing. I said, Kim, when was this? Kim said, this was probably like like good two months ago. We had been in the damn apartment for a good two months. I said, oh, so this bitch was cheating on me. Kim said, basically, yeah. She said, Taylor Taylor will never be out of picture. Like, no matter how much she tell you she don't fuck with her, no matter how much she tell you she don't like her, her family just like her, and since she's married into the family, she's going to always be around. She said, it's, it's not even just the family. It's Shen... It <laughs> I keep <laughs> saying that whole name. She said, it's not just the family. It's so-and-so as it well. Like... She's entertaining her ex. That's why her ex is still around. She said, that, that girl not going nowhere no time soon. Like, stop believing that shit. I said, all right. I said, so, I said, who is Hitman? Kim told me who Hitman was. Hitman is Taylor. I said, these lame ass hoes. She thinks she a Hitman? Bitch, I'm going to knock your ugly ass off. So I said, whatever. <laughs> I said, man, that shit lame as fuck. She said it is. And she was like, let me show you a video. Kim pulled up this video. Why am I ex on FaceTime with a nigga? Not just any nigga. Let me tell you guys this fucking day. Why is my ex on FaceTime? I don't want to say the nigga name because he worked with the feds. And I'm not trying to get my goddamn YouTube suspended or hacked or whatever the fuck. Y'all, it's a cop. Okay? He's he's an Instagram famous cop. He's very, he's very fucking well known. Cause he be making like videos, like, and he's a cop. Y'all know who the fuck I'm talking about. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Look at me. Y'all know who the fuck I'm talking about. He's a cop. He's very fucking, he's well known on social media. Like, well known. Yeah, I don't even know and, who the and, fuck and, and not right man. now. Like, back in that time. So when was this? Like, 2018, 2017, 2016, 2016, 2017. He's very well fucking known in that time. 2016, 2017. He's a cop. <laughs> it's like, he used I'm to make these videos. Oh, hold on. And they would just always go fucking viral. And people used to be like, we need more cops like this in the world. Y'all know who I'm talking about. That bitch was on FaceTime with that oh, nigga. She God. on FaceTime, feet kicked up in the air. They swinging. She <laughs> on there smiling, blushing. I said, what the fuck are you? I said, Kim, what are you showing me? Like, now let me tell y'all how she came in contact with that nigga. Like I said, me and my ex both worked at the airport. Y'all, working in that airport, I seen every fucking body. Like, yeah. that Atlanta, Hartsville, Jackson, that's the busiest airport in the fucking world. We mm -hmm. Atlanta has the busiest airport in the world. There. You see everybody. I seen Steph Curry. I done seen Cash Dog. I seen Cash Dog before she, before I even know who the fuck she was. I just remember seeing her big, black, fine, tall ass. I say, who the fuck is that big, reptile built bitch? You big chocolate bitch. I say, who the hey, fuck yo. is that? But now, now that I see her on Instagram, I'm like, I seen fucking Cash Dog. That could have been my chance to kidnap the bitch. Anyway, I seen Steph Curry. I seen Cash Dog. I seen Angelina Jolie. I I've seen two chains. I've seen Waka Flocka and Tammy. You see everybody in that fucking airport. Like I've seen Rick Ross ten fucking. I see. I used to see Rick Ross so much. I started thinking I was related to the nigga. Like every time I see that nigga, I saw. Oh, uh, like I'm seeing everybody. So working in that airport, you run into a lot of people. That's how my fucking ex ran into that fucking that fuck nigga. That's how she ran into his pig ass. So 
I remember just always like my ex would just always be on the phone with her coworkers, and they would be like, yeah, officer so-and-so going to be up here today. He was asking about you. And I used to like just brush it off like whatever because like he's well known. So like, you know, maybe her and him cool or whatever. I brush it the fuck off. Taco not thinking nothing crazy because first of all, the nigga old as shit and he's not a, he's not cute. So I'm like, she ain't doing nothing with that nigga, whatever. So Kim showing me the video. My ex is on FaceTime with this nigga. I said, Kim, what the fuck is this? She said, oh, girl, they talk. I said, they talk. She said, yeah, they talk. I said, how the fuck they talk, Kim? She said, well, basically, she wanted me, Kim, she was like, she wanted me to talk to him and we could kind of like blackmail him and use like use it against him. Like, because Kim was like, he told us that he would fly us out to Aspen and he got he got like this little this little cabin in Aspen and he would fly us out there and we could, you know, just like chill out there and get some money or whatever. I said, so Kim, why didn't you talk to him? She said, I, I don't want to talk to him. I, I, he's not cute to me. And she said, she said, once I told so-and-so that my ex, she said, once I told her that I didn't want to talk to him, she continued to talk to him. I said, so is she talking to him to, him, to use him as like a crush and get some money or is she talking to him, talking to him? Kim said both. I said, I said, Kim, do do she like niggas? She said, yeah, she bisexual. Bitch. I said, Kim, she dead at like she like niggas like niggas. She said, yeah, she be fucking like she, she be fucking niggas. She was like, I don't know if she been fucking niggas since y'all been together, but I know she like niggas and she she used to fuck niggas. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> like Taco said, Taco does not have a problem with bisexual women. I have a problem with y'all bitches right. who lie about it. Don't do that shit to me, because, bitch, I will beat the shit out of you, and I will have that nigga set up and fucking robbed. So, anyway, I said, oh, fuck no. So, Kim said, yeah, well, I just wanted to, like, you know, I just wanted to let you in on a lot of shit. I just wanted to let you know, like, certain shit, let you know what the fuck going on, what we about to do. I said, all right, Kim. Kim left. Kim left, went to work. I text my ex. <laughs> my ex at work, like I said. I text that bitch. I said, you fucking nasty bitch. I said, you out here fucking old married man for money, bitch. I said, did he fly your little ugly ass out yet? Have you have you gotten any money from this nigga yet? You dumb bitch. Like, going in. Like, I'm losing my mind on this hoe. This hoe ain't text back. I text that bitch again. <laughs> <laughs> I said, man, you got me fucked up. I said, I said, at least you had, you know, some fucking manners to cheat on me with a bitch, which is your ex. But now you cheating on me with a merry old fucking man. And this nigga ain't even paid your ass yet. I said, bitch, you going out fucking bad. And I hope you get some, you dirty bitch. I said, if he doing this shit with you, you know how many other bitches he probably entertaining the same mm. fucking way, you ugly bitch. Like, I'm going in. Like, I'm losing my mind. Like, <laughs> I said, man, when you come home, it's over with. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> That whole fuck around got home. I started cursing that hoe out. Taco not gonna fight that bitch. I don't wanna fight you. I don't wanna put my hands on you. I wanna hurt your feelings with my words. I'm gonna she ignore me. Like she come in the house ignoring me. I'm talking my shit. <laughs> That's one thing about me. You ain't nobody gonna stop Taco from talking her shit. I'ma talk my shit. Cause bitch, like I said, I'ma back it the fuck up. Like, stop playing with me. Like, I beat shit out of hoe. So I'm talking my shit. She ignoring me. I said, man, you a fucking joke. Here I go again, packing my shit. Bitch, what you packing your shit for? You not gonna go, you gonna, you gonna leave and come the fuck back. I'm packing my shit. Why this hoe snatch my damn bag off the bed? I said, watch out, watch out, you doing too much. This hoe still not saying nothing. Y'all, when I tell you we fucked that room up, that hoe, when I, I, I'm trying to pack my shit, this hoe is like snatching my shit off the fucking bed. Like, just in the way, like, going in. So, long story short, we fucked that room up. I remember I had this wax burner. I used to love, I love that. I love fucking candles. I love wax burners. I had this pretty ass little wax burner. I picked that shit up. I threw that shit and it was glass. I threw that shit. If that hole didn't move, that shit would have hit her ass. Threw that shit. That shit broke. It's glass everywhere. It's clothes everywhere. TV knocked off the fucking dresser. We had a little puppy, Kobe. Kobe was a puppy at this time. Kobe up under the bed. You can hear him crying, whimpering. Aww. The bed then got knocked off the fucking frame. Fucking, it's a hole in the closet door. Fuck that room up. Just for us, just for us to both sit on the bed and start crying. I'm crying, she crying. I said, what the fuck is wrong with you? I said, if you don't want me, if you want to be out here, if you want to be out here fucking these niggas and these bitches, just leave me alone. I said, every time, every time I leave, you blowing my shit the fuck up. Like you just going to do right by fucking God if I come back. What do you want from me? She's talking about some, I just love you so much. I don't want to lose you. Like, I, I love the person you are. I love who you are. 
She's talking about some, you just, you, you made me feel so amazing. Like, Taco knows she a good partner. Taco be fucking chilling. I don't start losing my mind until a bitch start losing her mind. When you start acting like you don't got no fucking sense, Taco gonna act crazy on your ass. That's what people always used to tell me. Like, even like the most recent relationship I got out of. She said, you amazing ass partner. Like, you make me feel so good inside. And she was just like, I would hate to lose you as like someone in my life. I told y'all, I don't, I don't keep in contact with any of my exes, except for Destiny. But me and Destiny, we not even talking right now. I don't fucking know why. But anyway, Taco don't keep in contact with her exes. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be around. I, for what? Like, if we didn't, like, I always say, if we did not work out as a relationship, what make you think I want to be your friend? What make you think we going to work out as a friendship? I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to come around you and your new bitch. I don't want to do none of that. That's that's not something I'm into. I don't think it's a childish thing. I don't think it's just because I'm immature and I feel like I still got feelings for that, for that person. I just can't sit in somebody's face. Like I said, I'm not a sexual person. So once I let you fuck me, you have you left a stain on my body. You get what I'm saying? All that, that soul, soul ties, that energy... All of that is attached to me now. I can't fucking get rid of you. I don't want to sit in your face and I see you entertaining another bitch and I'm just supposed to sit there and act like I'm cool with it. I'm fucking not, bitch. I'm not. I'm, I'll never. I never will be. Like, I don't want to be friends with none of my fucking exes. We fucked. Like, I don't, I don't think people understand that. Like, <laughs> Taco take that shit to heart. You were inside of me. I don't let people just do that shit on a daily basis. Like, it's just hoes out here fucking and sucking for free. Not Taco. I don't do shit like that. When I'm having sex with someone, it's because I love them. I'm not just having sex with you just because we date. Bitch, I'm having sex with you because I love you. So, all that, she just on the bed crying. Like, I don't want to lose you as a person. Like, even if you just want to be friends, we can do that. I said, I don't want to be your fucking friend. I, I'm like, if you're going to keep putting your hands on me, and you're going to keep cheating on me, lying to me, and you're going to be entertaining your ex, leave me the fuck alone. Like, just leave me alone. Like, right. what the hell be wrong with people? Why y'all can't just leave folks the fuck alone? If you know for a fact you do not want that person, why do you keep dragging them the fuck back? That's what type of person my ex was. My ex wanted to be the fuck out, living her best bisexual whole life. <laughs> but still got Taco at the crib, Taco at the crib wondering why. I'm not I'm not enough for this bitch. Wondering why, damn, am I am I lame? Do she not want to fuck with me because I don't got a car? She don't want to fuck with me because I ain't making that much money. She wanna she don't want to fuck with me because like I'm I'm not like I don't got no career path going yet for myself. Like her ex do like maybe I should like got me fucking second guessing myself on some damn taco. Are you ugly? Taco, are you lame? Taco, bitch, you need to get your shit together. Got me out here stressed the fuck out. Because I'm thinking I'm not enough for this little lame ass bitch. Bitch, in reality, you not enough for Taco, period. So, like, I feel like that was another fucking little thing like that. That kind of, like, fed into my depression. I'm sitting here questioning myself as a person for a bitch who really don't even fucking want me. Y'all know how the fuck that makes somebody feel? Do you understand how a person will fucking feel? You making them feel like they not shit. Literally, like... It used to be times I used to want to cuddle. That hoe would push me off of her. I used to want to be cute, give her a little kiss. Ew, stop. Ew. Bitch, what the fuck? Bitch, do you not see me? Like, man, stop playing with me, hoe. So, like, y'all got to understand, the way you treat somebody, they, they remember that shit. That shit takes a toll on people after a while. You mm -hmm. constantly hitting on me. You constantly putting your hands on me. And like I said, at one point, Taco was not fighting the fuck back. So, Taco just eating that shit. Taco getting her ass beat, literally. Not fighting the fuck back. Taco's not defending herself. Taco defending this bitch. When I come around my family, they looking at me like, why are you so skinny? Why are you losing so much weight? what's this what's that bruise right what's that bru what why your hair looks so fucking fucking dried out and brittle why do you look so fucking tired you look like you out here doing drugs bitch if you want to be a hoe be a hoe leave taco out of it leave taco the fuck alone don't keep Stressed me in out. this shit and then you upset with your life so you're taking it out on me literally that's what you're doing people people who want to be hoes people people who are upset with themselves they upset because they life not going nowhere they upset because they don't have certain things and certain people in their life they take it out on whoever is around them. You get what I'm saying? I feel like that's where a lot of domestic abuse spews from. And it is and it spews from like like childhood trauma and shit. But I feel like a lot of these people are out here putting their hands on people because you're upset with your fucking self. You're not gonna take it out on yourself. You're not gonna do no self-harm to yourself. So you're gonna take it out on whoever fuck is around you. That's why she was taking it out on Taco. Like I said, I was our I was already depressed. But I feel like this is something else for my depression to feed off of. You get what I'm saying? So 
you hitting on me. You making me feel unwanted. You making me feel unloved. You making me feel like I'm just lame and shit. You making me feel like I'm not shit. You know what type of toll that takes on a person at the end of the day? You know how that makes someone feel? I'm I'm trying to be cute. I'm trying to give you little kisses. You telling me, ill, back up. I'm trying to have sex. You treating me like I'm just fucking disgusting. You treat me like I'm ugly as shit. You treat me like you don't want to touch me. You treat me Especially like if that's one of her love languages, um, like physical touch. Like my, my love language is physical touch. So if I have someone who's not reciprocating that or giving it to me, then it will make me feel like some type of way. It hits those type of people harder than people who don't have that love language. Like you don't even want to be in a bed with me. You acting like you don't even want to live with a bitch at this point. You know how that, how, what type of toll that take on somebody? Like that, that's now that's fucking mental abuse, bitch. Now you fucking with my mental and you fucking with my emotions. So, bitch, not only are you physically abusing me mentally and emotionally, you fucking me up as well. Because you got Taco sitting here questioning her fucking self. Like, what is it about Taco that it can't please this bitch? You get what I'm saying? And it's kind of like that's that's where that fucking mindset of like junkie come from. I'm trying to like. Ooh, what can I do now to please her? What can I do? What? Okay, well, since I left, I might as well go back so, like, she'll feel better. Like, she hit me up. She calling me back to back. Let me go the fuck back on some real junkie shit. What can I do to keep you pleased even though I'm going the extra fucking mile and you still not feeling none of it? Which is coming back down on Taco, making Taco feel like Taco is not shit. Bitch, do you understand what that did to my mental? And not only that, bitch, my family hates me, low-key, because of you. I have my family losing their fucking mind because I'm putting myself in danger right. to fuck with your stupid ass. My family hate me. You done cut off all my friends. I don't have any friends. Taco don't have friends right now because that's Taco choice. But back then, Taco didn't have friends because I let that bitch run my friends out of my life, literally. I'm damn near about to lose my job because every time we get into it, I can't go to fucking work because my face fucked up. So I'm broke. And then you looking at me like, where y'all have the rent money? How the f bitch It's it's just so much fucking going on, y'all. Bitch, you done fucked up my credit because I done got half this shit in this apartment in my fucking name like a little dumbass little bitch. I'm young as shit. I didn't know nothing about no financing. I didn't know nothing about no credit. I don't, I don't know. Tucker wasn't taught that shit. So... Right now, Taco is repairing her credit. Thank the fucking universe that I'm I'm able to repair my credit and fix shit now. But back then, Taco was ass out of fucking luck. I ain't had nobody to fall back on. I ain't had nobody to help me. I couldn't call up none of my family members and be like, hey, auntie, can you throw me this? I'll pay you back. Hey, sister, can you throw me this? I'll pay you back. Hey, mama. Hey, daddy. Please, somebody fucking help Taco. I couldn't do that because, bitch, you made everybody hate me. Like, you... You used to come to my fucking house and lose your fucking mind. Like, it was at one point, y'all, me and my daddy got in a fight in the middle of the street because of this bitch. Like, I'm in this bitch. Y'all, my daddy is very sick. He's he's a dialysis patient. And then he done dealt with, like, colon cancer and all. Like, my daddy is just, like, always fucking sick. I remember one time, me and this hoe got into it so bad. Why this hoe pull up to my parents' house, knocking on their fucking... Bitch, it's probably, like, 12 midnight. Knocking on mm, their fucking door, mm. like, can you tell your daughter to give me my shit back? That's all I want. Like I said, Taco not the wow. only throw motherfucker in her family. Taco get this throw shit from her mama. My mama at the door like, what shit? Like, bitch, who, bitch, first of all, it's, it's midnight and you knocking on my door and then you using profanity. My mama looked at that bitch up and down. She said, where my daughter? She said, she in my car right there. My mama looked around that bitch. That's all she had to do. I got my ass out the car. She said, what the fuck are you doing? I said, I'm not doing nothing, mama. Go back in the house. I'll handle it. My mama said, no, either <laughs> either you're going to get this little bitch hurt. Like, my mama don't give a fuck. My mama ain't like the hoe neither. My mama said, either you're going to get this little bitch her shit or you 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 going to come get the shit and leave with the bitch. Like, she was like, y'all need to figure the fuck out because your daddy in here sleep. He's sick. He tired. My daddy come to the door. My daddy, he's so hard headed. He don't listen. <laughs> I get that shit from my daddy. My daddy is hard headed. He don't listen. And my daddy, he he like to pop off. Like my daddy not gonna he not gonna argue with you. He not gonna go back and forth. He gonna pop off. My daddy come out the house. He come down the steps. He come to her car and like grab me by my shirt and like dragging me in the house. And he like get this girl her shit so she can leave us the fuck alone. So I move my daddy hand off me. Boom. Me and my daddy in the middle of the street fighting. Bitch, you're causing so much. I don't y'all y'all have to understand this bitch caused so much in my fucking life. This is why I say that I, I do not fuck with her. I don't like this bitch. I will never like this bitch. I don't want to be cool with this bitch till this day. Y'all, what month is it? It's gonna be July. She hit me up in the middle in the in the 
in the middle of June, y'all. I still had a DMs. She hit me up in the middle of June talking about some, hey, I was just watching Family Guy. I thought about you. <laughs> Bitch, excuse me? I don't give a fuck if you was watching my YouTube. Don't fucking DM me. So she gonna DM me back again talking about some, I just wanted to know, like, if we could just meet up and talk some shit out on some real cordial mm -mm. shit. Y'all, people who know that they fucked up, when they know they lost something good, they're going to do anything in mm -hmm. their fucking mind to get it to fuck back. You get what I'm saying? Leave me the fuck alone, poo. I don't want shit to do with you no more. So anyway, y'all, like I said, she ruined my life. This bitch fed into my depression. Just f fucking terrible, y'all. So one day, her and Kim got into it at Home Depot. I'm just laying in the bed. My ex laying in the bed. We watching TV. We will buy the dupe. Kim fucking came in the room. Like, just opened the door. Came in our shit. She said, keep my fucking name out your mouth while you at work. I'm looking at my ex like, mm, hello? Because, <laughs> bitch, I'm like, oh, what the fuck going on? Like, at, at, at the same time, I kind of want to, like, go off on Kim. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't even fuck with you, bitch. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about neither one of y'all hoes, really. If y'all hoes going to fight, y'all going to fight. And I feel like, let me get to that part so y'all can understand. I'm just like, in my head, I'm like, man, if these hoes gonna fight, they gonna fight. I don't give a fuck, to be honest. I'm probably not even gonna break it up. Because at this point, I want somebody to beat my ex ass. Like, I'm tired <laughs> of having to do it. So anyway, Kim in the room just like going off. She like, I don't know who you be talking to. I don't know what y'all be talking about. Stop, keep, keep my fucking name out your mouth at work. Like, just stop. Stop talking about me at work. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me out your shit. So Kim leave out. She closed it up. I live to my ex. I said, what the fuck? She said, I don't know what that little bitch talking about. I said, whatever. We brush it off. Y'all, probably like a week later. Let me tell y'all where shit went down. A okay, week later, this little bitch, her sister is in town. You get what I'm saying? Kim's sister is in town. So Kim's sister is like in our apartment or whatever. So me and my ex, we in a room again, just chilling, watching TV. Kim opened the door. Kim talking to my ex. She said, can you come out here? I want to talk to you real quick. Taco is crazy. Like I said, Taco set shit up in her mind and Taco was always right. In my head, I'm like, Kim don't like my ex. Kim's sister is here. <laughs> Kim want my ex off. to come out into the <laughs> living room so they can talk when she can just talk to her right here in our doorway like she normally does. I said, they finna jump this bitch. That's what that is. That's what Taco that put together in her head. And Taco was fucking right. My ex said, I'm not finna come out here. I'm not finna come out here. You can talk to me in here. Kim said, no, no, just come out here. That right there, that was a red flag. I say, yeah, they finna, they finna, they finna try and jump this bitch. And talk about with that jumping shit, unless it's my family. <laughs> I jumped the fuck out of bitch with my family. I don't give a fuck, bitch. If you want to fight a hoe, you gonna fight that hoe one on one. Period. If you losing, too bad, bitch. You better get right or get left. So, my ex kept telling, she kept telling Kim, no. She said, no, talk to me right here. So Kim said, I. Right. Kim, big body ass sister, coming in the room behind her. I set up in the bed, cause bitch. Kim says she want to talk to my ex. Why the fuck is you in here? So I'm, I'm sitting there on the bed listening. I'm like, man, these hoes, finna, they finna do some dumb shit. Like, Taco's not stupid. Like I said, Taco done seen too much of this shit in her life to not know what the fuck is about to go down. So I'm watching. I'm just looking. My ex, she got off the bed. She like, man, because like Kim like talking shit, like going in. And then at the same time, Kim is spilling like more tea. Kim, like, I don't give a fuck what you and your bitch in here doing. I don't give a fuck if you cheating on the bitch like you been doing anyway. Like, Kim spilling tea. And at the same time, Kim is, like, telling my ex about herself, like, going in. So my ex get up off the bed. She trying to push Kim out the room. Kim got down. Thunk, hit that bitch. I said, ah, oh, fuck, I knew it. I get up off the bed. Man, them hoes fighting. So me and her sister just standing there letting them hoes fight. Like I said, Taco not on that jumping shit. I'm not going to jump in until I see goddamn uh Mufasa right here fucking Timon and Pumbaa body having ass bitch until I see her try and walk over here and get into it with them I'm not doing shit my ex was beating the shit out of Kim last like going in going brazen like fighting fighting so she finally get Kim ass up out the room Kim's sister walk out she like she like pushing Kim back out the room because it's like okay bitch y'all fight that's it get the fuck out Kim come back in the room we we close the door and like we got one of those locks like Y'all know what the fuck type of lock I'm talking about. You can put a penny in that motherfucker and turn it oh. and it unlock. Kim do that shit. Kim unlock the door. Kim come back in there. I said, Kim, you already got your ass beat. What? As <laughs> soon as I said that, <laughs> pepper spray. Oh. I said, what the fuck? Like, that hoe hit me dead in my shit. I'm like, 
What the fuck? Y'all know, I don't know if y'all ever been pepper sprayed, but it take a little bit for it to come to fuck, like, for it to then kick you in. start choking. I'm wiping my face. I'm not knowing what the fuck it is, so I'm rubbing it in deeper. Mm. Oh, my dumb ass. I'm rubbing it in deeper into my eye. I said, what the fuck? I swear the fuck. Kim walked back out. I close it all. I lock it again. I look at my ex. She said, bro, this hoe just maced us. I said, what? <laughs> as soon as she said that, that shit kicked in. I'm like leaned over. I'm coughing. I'm spitting because that shit is in my mouth. I'm like, Pff. like, what the fuck? Like, it's all on the sheets. It's on our bed sheets. It's on our curtains. It's on our carpet. It done Damn. get Kobe little ass. Kobe losing his mind. I said, what the fuck? My ex called the cops. All this shit happened. We had to get a temporary restraining order. We got the fuck out of that apartment. We left Kim little dirty lame ass in that dirty ass apartment because the bitch was dirty anyway. My ex was dirty too. Bitch, I was probably the only clean hoe in that house. Left woo woo by the dupe. Long story short, me and my ex got our own fucking apartment together. So, Lord. this right here is when, <clears throat> like, shit just went left. And I was like, you know what? I'm tired of this bitch. Like, leave me the fuck. So, me and my ex in our own apartment now. This is the apartment that was haunted. Like, this was the apartment that had all that weird, negative, badass fucking energy in it. Because it was coming from me and my ex, I think. And that goddamn ghost dog. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the My Apartment Was Haunted story time. And you'll see. So anyway, now we in our new apartment. It's just me and my ex and Kobe and the ghost dog. So I'm still unhappy. Me and her still fighting. We still going at it. We got in this one big fucking fight, y'all. I had to call the cops. Like, so it was one day I had left. I left work early that day because I was feeling like, like it was just something about my energy and like my vibe. And it was just something in my body. Like you need to leave this bitch alone. Like you need to honestly uh -huh. cut this shit the fuck out. And it's just like, I, I felt like like a dark ass fucking like energy over me. I just, I just honestly felt like, I don't know, like y'all ever have a dream or like a fucking, like you ever try and like, you ever like, what's the word? Deja vu. And you just see something and you don't really like it. Like, like, so leading up to that day, I just kept having fucking like negative ass, terrible ass dreams. Like. I remember I had this one dream. I don't know who this lady was. I don't know. Y'all probably think this is weird, but I don't give a fuck. Taco look into a lot of shit. So I had this dream. I don't know who this fucking lady was. It was just a random lady. And I remember we was just walking. It was nothing around us. We was just walking. Like it was just a big white ass open area. And me and the lady was just walking. Now I was talking to the lady and I was crying. Like I remember in a dream I was crying and I was talking to the lady. And I was like, I'm so tired of this. Like I'm tired of this. And that's like that's all I kept saying. Bitch, I'm finna cry just thinking about it. I remember I just kept talking to the lady. I kept telling her that I was tired of this. I said, I'm so tired of this. Like, I'm fed up. I can't do this no more. I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of this. And that lady said, you know what? Don't worry about it because you finna leave anyway. And Taco kind of took that ass. Because like, like I told you, at this point, I was very I was very suicidal. And I was in a dark ass fucking place. So even though me and my sister, me and my sister are best fucking friends, like I say. Me and my sister was not on good terms because my sister was so upset with me at this point. Like, because I just kept going back to this little bitch. So I remember I called my sister. Before I went to work that day, I called my sister. I said, Kia, I had this fucking dream. And I started crying while I'm telling her. I said, I don't know if that lady meant like you finna leave anyway as in you finna die. I don't know if she meant it as you finna take your life anyway. Or she meant it as you finna be about this situation anyway. So it's okay. It's okay for you to be tired. Because either way you go, you finna leave anyway. And my sister was just like, you know, maybe she just meant it as you finna remove yourself out of that situation. I said, yeah, but lately I've been feeling so down. Like, I'm like I told you, I tell my sister everything. I tell my sister every time I feel like I'm about to like take my life. So I'm telling my sister, I said, I feel like here, if I, I feel like if I don't get out of this apartment, I'm going to kill myself. And she said, well, every time, every time we come and we come get you and we tell you to stop going back, you go back anyway. So she said, at this point, I, I don't know what to tell you anymore. You need to figure it out. Yeah, what do you do? She hung yeah. up. Said, it's like that puts a lot of pressure on somebody because then what? Imagine if Taco would have took her life. I'm sure her sister would have felt guilty in some type of way. Yeah. What do you do in a situation like this? It's like, really, the only thing you can do is what her sister did. It's like, you have to tell them that they're going to have to find the strength to do it. You know, to make the change that they need to make in their life. And you pray about it. Oof. That's pretty much it. <clears throat> so, I'm at work. I left work early. Because like I said, I just felt like it was just a, such a dark-ass energy over me. So I get home, my ex is still at work. No, my ex wasn't even at work. She was at that fucking barnyard probably being a goddamn whore. 
<laughs> she's at that fucking ranch <laughs> you fucking cowboy bitch you fucking anyway i text her i said i'm at the i'm at this i'm at the house can you come home because i need to talk to you she got home started talking I had already packed my shit. I said, bitch, you're not going to rip my shit up this time. You're not going to pull shit out of this damn suitcase. Had my shit packed and everything. Suitcase is about to go. I said, like, at this, I'm now, y'all, now I don't even want to fight. Like, now I'm I'm really, like, talking to this bitch. I, I said, said, I can't do this no more. Like, I, I can't keep coming back to you just for you to keep doing the same shit to me. I'm getting tired of it. Like, I told her, I said, I feel like I'm going to kill myself. I feel like being in this space with you, I'm going to kill myself, literally. I said, if 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 we don't end up killing each other, I'm going to kill myself. And I'm telling this bitch straight up, like, I will fucking overdose in this fucking apartment. Like, I don't give a fuck. I will, I will ruin your life. Because you don't ruin mine so much to the point where my family don't even want to fucking help me out anymore. I'm going to ruin your fucking life, bitch. I will leave my spirit in this bitch. I will stain your ass. Like, I'm going in. Damn. I'm telling her, I said, I can't do this no more. It's, it's too toxic. It's too much going on. We got ghosts and demons in this bitch. Fucking, it's just too much. I'm like, you you don't clean up. You dirty. Like, you you stressing me the fuck out. <laughs> Obvious that it's not, going, it's not going anywhere. We don't even we don't even have sex. Like, I can't even tell you the last time we had sex. We don't even act like we date. We act like we really just putting up with each other only because we, we both have our names on this lease. You get what I'm saying? I feel like at this point, we not even in a relationship. We just in a fucking situationship because we're paying fucking 1200 for a three bedroom apartment. And it's only us. Why the fuck do we have a three bedroom <laughs> apartment and it's only me, you and a dog? What the fuck, bitch? We, we, we can barely afford this shit. So I'm just going in. She said, "So what you saying? You you leaving?" I said, "Yeah, I'm I'm leaving. Like I'm I'm done." I said, "I don't want to be with you no more." Like I told her how straight up. I said, "I don't want to be with you no more. I don't want to date you no more. I don't want to whatever we're doing. I don't want to do it anymore with you. I don't want to see you no more. I don't want shit to do with you no more." Like I'm I'm like explaining to this bitch. I said, "My life is fucking like ruined because of you." Like and a lot of y'all probably like, "Nah, Taco, it could it could have been worse." But to Taco, that shit is ruined. Like, I understand there's people out here who literally die in their relationships, literally. Mm -hmm. But like I'm saying, we were on that fucking path. Like, we were both on that path to self destruction. Either I was gonna self destruct, or we were gonna fuck around and kill each other. So anyway, I'm just like, this is not going anywhere. Like, it's not. So as I'm talking, my sister Facetime me, and my bed, my phone is on the bed. Why my ex answer it? My ex answer it. And my sister looking at the phone. She's talking about some give give my sister her phone. So I'm like in the back talking to my sister. Like my sister, I'm like I can hear you, Kia. She said no. I want you to. She was like get your phone. Right. Like get your phone. So I'm reaching for my phone. My ex leaning back. She's not giving me the phone. So I'm like Kia. She won't give me the phone. My sister start going to fuck you. <laughs> y'all listen. I mean telephone. Y'all don't want no smoke. Listen. My sister start going in. She said, bitch, give my sister her fucking phone. Like, my sister in Texas popping shit. She's like, bitch, if, if I take a flight, you don't want me to take a flight. You don't want me to take a flight. Like, going in. So I'm like telling my sister to calm down. But at the same time, I'm still reaching for my phone. So as I'm reaching for my phone, my ex hit me. I said, here, fucking oh, go. Man. I said, Kia, just hang up and call back. I'll get the phone. My sister hung up and called back. At this point now, me and my ex is fighting because, bitch, you just hit me. I didn't want to hit you back while my sister's on the phone. <laughs> so my sister, she hung up. I pushed my ex. I said, what did I tell you about hitting me? Like, stop fucking hitting me. So now we're fighting. So my sister called back. I grabbed, like, now I have the phone. But, like, as I'm talking to my sister, you can see, like, my, so my sister's seeing everything, like, on FaceTime. She see my ex hitting me and everything. I'm telling my sister, I'm like, you see, this is shit I'm talking about. Like, I, I'm a... Kia, like, I'm gonna fuck this bitch up in this apartment. So my sister, like, now she done calmed down because she see me getting fucking riled up. And bitch, when I tell y'all, Taco's a demon. So, like, at this point, I, I'm, I'm crying. Like, I'm crying and I'm mad as fuck because, bitch, stop hitting me. Like, I'm trying to talk to my sister. You out your rabbit ass mind, first of all, even hitting me while it's a fucking, while yeah. it's a family member on the phone. Bitch, you you lost your fucking mind. So my sister, like, just walk away, like, get get out the apartment. So I'm trying to walk away. This is when I still have my hair. I'm trying to walk away. My ex pulling my hair, pulling me back into the room, dragging me on the floor, like, just going in. I hang up on my sister. I hung up. Me and that hoe started fighting. <laughs> Fuck is he talking about? Fighting. Bitch, I threw that phone. Bitch, we in there going at it. Like, losing our fucking mind. Like, this was probably our worst fight. Because, like, this was our last fight. We in there going crazy. Like, 
That hoe got knots. I got knots. She done pulled out one of my dreads. Um, it, her glasses broke. Shit everywhere. Once again, looking like the last fucking apartment. Shit is everywhere. We finally stopped. I said, I'm finna call the police. Like, <laughs> cause bitch, I, I felt like I would have been able to get that get out that apartment. Like, she would have kept fucking like pressing up on mm -hmm. me. So when we finally stopped, I called the police. I said, Can y'all send a courtesy officer out? Can y'all send somebody out? Because I'm just trying to leave and my girlfriend won't let me leave. Like, that's all I'm trying to do is leave. So, like I said, my face is fucked up. I got scratches. I got knots. Her face fucked up. She got scratches. She got knots. The courtesy office is like on their way or whatever. So my sister called me back again. My sister said, I'm going to call mama. My sister stay in Texas, but my mama stay goddamn. My mama stay near the airport a little bit. My mama called me. She said, what the fuck are you doing? Like, she said my middle name. That's how I knew she was dead ass. I said, hello? <laughs> bitch, at this point, I'm scared. I'm scared for you, and I'm scared for me. Because, bitch, if my mama come in here, she tearing this motherfucker down. She she said my middle name. She said, what the fuck are you doing? I'm crying. Like, y'all, it's me and my mama don't have that much of a close relationship, but I do not fucking play when it comes to my mama. Because my me and my mama is the same person. My mama's so fucking sweet, but when you push her, over with. I'm talking to my mama. I'm crying because my mama is yelling at me. She's not yelling at me like it's my fault. She yelling at me like, I keep fucking telling your little ass and you keep taking your dumb ass back over there. She said, if I come over there, you're not going to fucking like it. If I come get you again from that bitch and you take your ass back, I'm going to beat your ass. And I'm going to beat that bitch ass. My mama going in like, she said, I'm on my fucking way. I, like, I'm on my way. She said, keep your ass on this phone. I said, I don't want to sit like crying. I don't want to be on the phone. Just come get me. Mama, like, I'm crying, like bawling my eyes out, like screaming, crying. Now my sister, my sister done called on the phone now. So me, my mom, and my sister is on three-way. I'm screaming in the phone. I'm like, man, this hoe done fucked up my life. I said, this hoe, I let this bitch, this bitch was my first. She was my first, like on the floor crying. I said, I let this hoe take my virginity. I don't let this hoe move me all the way the fuck out here to this airport. I don't even know half these folks out here. I don't even know the fuck I'm at. I don't got no money. My credit fucked up. I'm going in. Like, I'm like, my face. I'm like, I'm too pretty for this shit. I'm too pretty for this shit. Like, losing my mind. And my mama crying. My sister crying. I was uh, crying. I don't know why my little eyes watering up. It ain't even my time of the month. Damn, I ain't got no excuses. I think my eyes watering up because it's rough. And it's like, I'm just thinking about the young ladies who's in this situation right now. Yeah. And it's just like, man, this is some life or death type of situation. Yeah, I was just sitting here thinking... And Nick know, like, I'm so protective when it comes to my family. I wouldn't even know what I'd do if one of my kids called me with some crazy mess like that. I just know it'll be ugly. So fucking bitch! I'm like, mama, come get me. Like, if you don't, I'm telling my mama, like, my mama ain't never hear me say that shit. Like, my mama know I did, deal with depression, but she ain't never hear me straight up say, like, I'm finna end this shit. I said, mama, if you don't push up now, I'm finna kill my fucking self in this apartment. My mama got quiet. She hung up. My sister's still on the phone. When I tell y'all, when my mama hung up, I already knew she was doing a dash. My mama was pushing, like, <laughs> my sister's on the phone. My sister's talking to me. She like, calm down, calm down, calm down. I said, no, bro. I said, what the fuck is wrong with me? I said, why did I let this shit get this far? Why did I let her do this? Why did I let this bitch drag me to two apartments? This bitch got me pepper sprayed. This bitch done almost had me arrested. This bitch fucked up my credit. This bitch had me scamming. Y'all, this bitch had me doing some dumb shit. Like, when I tell y'all this bitch ruined my fucking... She had me doing some dumb shit that, I, that Taco would never do in her fucking life. Taco is not that type of person. This bitch had me fucking... So, the courtesy officer got there before my mama got there. So, the courtesy of officer get there, the police officer, where the fuck? He got there. I let him in, and he seen my bags, and he seen how the apartment was fucked up a little bit. And he seen my face first, because my, my ex was in the room just sitting on the bed. She was crying. Like, bitch, what the fuck is you crying for? So, the officer came in. He seen me first. He said, come outside. So came outside. We went to the steps, and we started talking. He said, now, if I do a report, he said, if I start a report right now, like, one of y'all going to jail, period. Mm -hmm. He said, I, I don't want to arrest neither one of y'all. He said, I can tell by your face. I can tell, like, the fact that you crying. I see your bags packed. He said, I can tell some domestic shit going on. And he said, but I'm telling you right now, if I do a report, one of y'all going to jail. Somebody's getting arrested. So he said, what you finna do? I told him straight up. I said, officer, I ain't never been to jail. I ain't never been in trouble. I'm not this type of bitch. I'm not this type of person. I said, I ain't never been in no shit like this in my life, like. 
I don't even know how the fuck I even got in this situation. Like now, now I'm crying to the officer. I'm telling the officer my whole damn life. I'm like, I don't know how the fuck I got to this to this fucking point of no return. I said, I want to go the fuck home. He said, who who come to get you? I said, my mama come to get me. He said, how far is she? I said, she not that far. She she probably lived like 15, 20 minutes. He said, when your mom come get you, leave this shit the fuck alone. He said, I done seen too many young ass girls like y'all lose their fucking life over this dumb shit. He said, leave this shit alone. He said, neither one of y'all gonna change. Neither one of y'all gonna try and do better to help the other one out. Leave this shit the fuck alone. He said, now go back in there and get your shit. He grabbed one bag. I grabbed the other bag. We walked down the steps. And that was it, y'all. That was like the last time I really talked to my ex. Like, I didn't go back no more. My mama got me. I'm in the car just crying. Like, I'm just stressed out. And I remember I went to sleep on the ride home. And my mama, I could hear her on the phone. She was on the phone with my daddy. And I just remember she was telling my daddy what happened. And my sister, like, everybody just blowing up my mama's phone. Because at this point, I'm not answering my phone no more. Taco sleep. <laughs> Taco in the passenger seat, like... <sighs> Going. <laughs> that was really yeah. it. That was like the last time I I seen my ex in person. That was the last time I seen her in person. Um, that was like our last big ass fight. That was probably our worst fight. And then after that, yeah, we we talked for a little bit. We probably talked like on some like, hey, how you doing? And that was it. Um, and I remember I sent her this one big message like, for my what? It was a holiday. I can't remember. Somebody texted me. I don't know what holiday it was, but I remember I sent her this one big ass paragraph and I told her straight up. I said, I need to cut all I need to cut all ties with you. Like, I was like, I need to cut all ties with you. I I I can't talk to you. I don't even want you in my life as a friend. I don't want to text you. I don't want to see, I don't want to see you on social media. I don't want to see any of that. I don't I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't want nothing to do with your little sister. I blocked all her little because she had three little sisters. I blocked all their asses. I, I went on a blocking spree. Like, I went on a fucking detox. Like, I said, all this all this cordial shit that we're trying to do, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to talk to you. Cut all ties with that bitch. And like I said, y'all, she always used to reach out. She used to call me from block numbers. She had his gay friend named Donnie. She used to call me from Donnie phone because her and Donnie was like smoke partners. Like, Donnie used to always push up, smoke us out. She used to call us from Donnie phone. She used to just go in, like, losing her fucking mind again, contact with Taco. Taco was our, I even changed my number. Like, I changed my number on this bitch. My page not private. So, she be DMing me from, like, her whole other Instagram. And, like I said, she DMed me the middle of this month talking about some, hey, I just want to meet up. No. Like, leave me alone. Like, and it's it's to the point now, y'all, where I don't hold I don't hold anything against her you know, anymore, you know? Like, at one point, I was a very hateful fucking person towards her. Taco hated her. Taco hated her so much that I started hating myself. Like, so I'm I'm still working on like letting a lot of shit go. I'm still working on like processing a lot of shit that happened while I was in that relationship. Like I said, I'm I'm building my fucking credit back up. Thank the fucking universe. Um so yeah. If you didn't take anything from this fucking story time, bitch you suck because I really just dropped some damn jewels. Y'all, mm -hmm. moral of the story <clears throat> someone putting their hands on you, they do not love you. Someone who is causing you any type of pain, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, sexual, they do not love you. No no one who loves you will put you in danger. No one who loves you will fuck you up. You get what I'm saying? Um, another moral of the story is get the fuck out of that relationship. Somebody will always be like, I'm going to change, I'm going to change, I'm going to change. They say they're going to change to get your ass to come, to, to come back. When you come back, they're doing the exact same shit that made you dip in the first place, right? Leave them alone. They're not going to change. Some people are so stuck in their toxic ways because they see nothing wrong with it. And it's kind of like when you see, when you can see that someone is such a bad person, it's kind of like you putting yourself in that issue. You get what I'm saying? You the reason why you in this situation. You can leave. They're not forcing you to stay. You get what I'm saying? Um. So, you know, all in all, just, just if you notice that somebody has a, a, a pattern, like they keep doing the same shit, that they're showing you who they really are they they showing you like this what type of person i am like like that's really them it ain't no oh give me one more chance no they're not going to change you get what i'm saying um another another moral of, moral of the story is never love someone so much to the point where when it doesn't work out you begin to hate yourself because that was taco's issue i love that bitch so much 
And when she didn't love me back, I started hating myself. You get what I'm saying? So like I said, I started looking at myself differently. I started thinking like, am I not enough? Am I ugly? Am I lame? Is it because I don't have a car? Is it because like where I work, I'm not making that much money? You know what I'm saying? Never let somebody define who the fuck you are as a person. You know what I'm saying? Never be never be in this in a relationship where the bad outweighs the good. Bitch, that ain't no fucking relationship. That's a situation shit. Like, and it's it's not doing nothing but leading your ass into the ground. Like, so you know. I know it's a lot of y'all out there probably going through something like this. Mm -hmm. Probably something worse. Probably something similar. Probably something not not as bad. But y'all, that motherfucker is not gonna change. I'm telling you that right now. No matter how much they say they're gonna change, they say they're gonna stop cheating. They're gonna stop hitting you. They're gonna stop lying. They not. They telling you this yeah. because because they're getting caught. You get what I'm saying? It's they not changing their behavior because they kind of like. I cheated on this bitch. This bitch not going nowhere. I just cheated and you still with me. I'm not finna change my behavior. Like, I'm finna just, I'm finna, since I got caught, I'm sorry that I got caught. I'm not sorry that I cheated. I'm sorry because I got caught. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of these people apologizing to y'all, they, they not genuine with it. They don't give a fuck. A lot of these people are only apologizing because they got caught, not because of what they actually did. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. That was it for this story time. I know it's long as fuck. <laughs> Um. all right so uh yeah that story time it was pretty intense yeah. um what it made me think about um just a reminder like um when you get caught up in situations like that it's very important to remove yourself from the victim position like you know she made me do this she made me do that she made me and become your own hero in your life story you know what i'm saying like notice all this shit stop because that girl was gonna keep trying to make taco do stuff but all this shit stopped when Taco finally blocked her and stopped talking to her and cut her off, no matter how many different angles she tried to come at her. So, yeah. And I, I like how, um, you know, Taco kind of pointed out that when somebody is doing something like that, that they're not going to change. And even if they try to change, <clears throat> just think about the psychological damage that has happened. So it's kind of like you're still going to have resentment in the relationship. And those are the things that you go through. Like I said, I've never been in a situation like that, but I was in a situation with somebody who cheated on me. And it does. It make you question yourself. And you shouldn't be with somebody that's making you question who you are as a person or am I not doing this? Do I, am I not living up to a certain expectation? If that's happening, then you definitely shouldn't be with that person. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, if y'all enjoy the reaction, hit the subscribe button. Also like the video. We hope to catch y'all next time. Peace. Peace.